Let's take a look at which of these bonds here is the least polar. So what we want to know is which one of these bonds is the least polar and how we figure that out. So we have the periodic table here and these numbers here below the elements, those are electronegativity values. So we're looking at the difference in electronegativity between the atoms here. So carbon right here, 2.55 and then oxygen, 3.44. So we want to know the difference here and that gives us a value of negative 0.89. We're looking at the difference, so let's get rid of the negative sign. So a difference of 0 0.89, that's a polar bond. This bond is going to be polar. When it's over 0.4 or 0.5, we consider it a polar bond. For carbon and hydrogen, we look at carbon here, 2.55, and we subtract hydrogen, which is 2.20. We end up with 0 0.35. So for carbon and hydrogen, that's less than 0.4 or 0.5. So this is a nonpolar bond. There would be a dipole because we have electronegativity difference, but we wouldn't classify it as a polar bond. How about bromine and bromine? Since they're both bromine atoms, they'll have the same electronegativity value. That means it'll be zero. So this is a nonpolar bond. And we wouldn't even have a dipole here. Let's look at sulfur and chlorine. What about that? So here we're above 0.58. So this would be a polar bond. We'd consider this to be a polar bond. So in answer to our original question, which was the least polar, that's going to have to be these two bromines bonded together. 0, 0.00, that is a nonpolar bond, and it has the least polarity out of all four of these. This is Dr. B looking at which of these following bonds is the least polar. It's the bromine-bromide bond because they're the same atom and they have the same electronegativity. Thanks for watching.